Good morning and welcome back to Maryland Today. Joining me now is Wendy Goldman, Director of Marketing and Public Relations for the Baltimore Humane Society. Wendy, good to have you back in here. Thanks. It's always great to be here. Uh, you know, first of all, let's just talk about the Baltimore Humane Society in general. Give me a little background about it, what it's all about. Well, the Baltimore Humane Society is a nonprofit, no-kill animal shelter which means that we do not receive funding from the local government. We're not part of animal control. Mm -hmm. And we also don't receive funding from any of the national humane societies. We rely strictly on donations and events to keep our doors open. Um, It also means that the animals who come to stay with us, dogs, cats, rabbits, and other small furry creatures, um, they stay with us until they find a home. We Hmm. do not euthanize to make space. And where are you guys located? We are located in Reisterstown on 1601 Nicodemus Road. And um, we also have a memorial park that is for anybody to um, have their pet stay at rest there okay. if they'd like. Um, and we also have a low-cost spay, neuter, and vaccine clinic for people who can't otherwise afford veterinary care. Before we move on to uh, the main topics of today's interview here, is there a website people can go to to find more information? Yes. Um, our website is bemorehumane.org, and we spell that B-M-O-R-E, humane. Org. Wendy, just a, a quick question for my own uh, personal uh, information here. Would you say you have more dogs than anything else at the Humane Society? No, I'd say we have more cats really? than anything more else, cats? actually. Okay. Yeah, cats are just like, uh, they're coming out of the woodwork all really? the time. And and that's probably because of the problem with people not spaying or neutering. Sure. And there's a lot of feral cats in the community um, we could really use some great TNR or trap neuter return programs mm-hmm. to resolve the problem, but that takes funding. Well, Wendy, let's talk about some of the events that you have coming up here that help you fund all the amazing things that you do over at the Humane Society. First of all, you've got a pet memorial taking place today a little bit later this morning? Yes. Okay, um, tell me more about that. Yes. Well, we, like I said, we have a pet memorial park that mm-hmm. is open to the public. It's, it's not just for the animals that the Humane Society may happen to pass away. This is actually a, a, a public pet site. Cemetery. Okay. Um, and we offer all kinds of memorials and we offer um, free bereavement support counseling. Mm. We have a, a pet grief support group that meets once a month. And one of the things that we do is we hold this annual pet memorial ceremony. And that's for people, anybody at all. You don't have to have adopted a pet with us or have a pet at rest at our cemetery. It's for anybody who'd like to remember and honor and cherish the memories of a lost pet. Oh, that's pretty cool. And it's what time beautiful. does that happen today? Um, it's at 11 a.m. It's really a beautiful ceremony. It's on our grounds. It's at the entrance under a beautiful canopy of trees hmm. to the uh, Memorial Park. We've got flute players from the Delaney Flute Ensemble um, they're from high school, and they're wonderful. Um, we've got speakers, one from Stella Morris. Our medical director and veterinarian is going to be talking about guilt and euthanasia. We've got wonderful speakers. We also have a flower ceremony. We ask everybody to um, bring a flower and we have a floral ceremony where we announce the name of each pet and people come up and place the flower in their honor. And uh, we also ask people if you can bring a photo of your pet, put it on display during the ceremony. It's just just a beautiful, lovely time. We invite everybody to come. It's free. Again, this is taking place at the Baltimore Humane Society at 11 o'clock this morning. One more time, can you give us that address? Yes, it's 1601 Nicodemus Road in Reisterstown. So if you were on the Beltway, you would take 795 North, get off at the Franklin Boulevard West exit, and hop onto Nicodemus Road. Perfect. Well, one of your big events that you do every single year that I always see a lot of publicity for is Dog Fest. And that's coming up pretty soon here. What day is that happening? It is Saturday, September 27th, all day from 10 to 5 on our grounds in Reisterstown. And it is the best time anyone can ever have if they're a dog lover. Okay, so tell me more about this. What's going to be happening on uh, September 27th? What's not going to be happening on <laughs> September 27th is really a better That's a question. Good <laughs> well, first, we do have a walkathon. Okay. Um, so anybody can sign up now online at dogfest.org to walk for us. And, um, you know, you, when you sign up, you get a fundraising page online that you can pass around with a link to people to collect pledges. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fundraising walk is from 10 a.m 
till 12. It's a rolling start time. You don't have to be there at 10. Bring your dog, bring your friends, bring your kids. It's a one mile or a 1.6 mile stroll, really, okay. through our um, grounds. And our grounds, we're on 100 and 365 acres. Oh my gosh. And most of that is wildlife sanctuary. So you're walking through just beautiful, beautiful grounds. It's a lovely, lovely walk. And it's a fun time. Anybody who walks will get a free entry ticket into Dog Fest. Okay. They also get a free Dog Fest shirt and um, a half price ticket to Magooby's Joke House. Oh, okay. There you yeah. go. Some more incentives. Yes. And when you're talking about fundraising, all of the money that does get raised goes to benefit the Baltimore Humane Society and help you keep offering all the amazing things that you offer at that place already. Yes. It's not just fundraising for our dogs, although right. a lot of people think, oh, it must only be for the dogs. It's for all the animals. Right. This just happens to be a fun event for dogs and dog lovers. So what else is happening? After the walk, you get into Dog Fest. What's be- what are people going to be seeing when they get in there? Okay. Well, first of all, if you don't walk, you can still enter dog fest at 10 a.m so anybody's welcome from 10 a.m on um gee where do i begin we have all kinds of games and activities for the dogs we have swimming there's always a line for everybody's (laughs) dog to jump into that swimming pool we've got this huge agility yard it's just tremendous so i'm always fascinated by the agility uh yeah and and most people never get the opportunity to let their pet try Mm -hmm. some of that equipment you know there's the the boards and jumping over poles and going through tubes and you know whatnot so it's really a lot of fun it's a very popular activity i hear the costume contest is also a very big thing are you doing that again this year (laughs) yeah you're jumping ahead of me. Oh, I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. I'm getting too far ahead. We can right. come back to the costume There's competition. So, so, no, no, that's <laughs> fine. So, we do have contests running all day long. So, um, you sign your pet up. If you think your pet's a winner in any of these categories, absolutely come and sign them up. Um, but you sign up that day at Dog Fest. And um, we've got contests running from 1030 to 330. They are contests like best kisser, best costume, best (laughs) trick, best tail wagger, owner pet lookalike, biggest dog, smallest dog. I know I've left some out, but um, we have all kinds of uh, fun, fun contests. And this year, what makes it even better is that we are having comedians host the contest. Really? So you can imagine this is kind of fun to begin oh, yeah. with. <laughs> just the idea of it makes me laugh. Yeah, yeah. And adding a comedian in there is is going to make it just wonderful. Do we have any names you want to throw out there? Yeah. Um, the first comedian is Mark Unger. Okay. He is also um, part owner of Magooby's Joke House. Oh, okay. He has, um, all these comedians are on the national circuit. Mm-hmm. He's right now um, also seen on HBO's Veep. He has a recurring role as a reporter. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So Mark Unger is one. Then there's also um, Tommy Simbazo and Jay Sheck. Okay, I've heard those names before. Not super familiar with them, but I've definitely heard the names while... Must be looking through different things, but right. that sounds fantastic. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. And thanks to Magoobies also, we have prizes other than just our trophies and ribbons, which of course were just enough anyway. <laughs> but um, this year we're adding in some more prizes thanks to Magoobies. The first prize winner of every contest, this is all the contests, first prize winner gets a $50 Magoobies Joke House gift certificate Great. and 10 free Magoobies tickets. That's fantastic. Then the second prize winners will get a $25 dollar gift certificate to Magoobies and five free tickets. And the third prize winner will get four free tickets to Magoobies Joke House. So it just makes it so much more fun. Absolutely. Yeah, I've been to Magoobies before, too. It's a nice place to see a good comedy show. So definitely, uh, if you can win, a good night out for you there. Yeah, we really appreciate Magoobies being a presenting sponsor this year because also, um, in addition to that, even if you don't enter a contest, every person who enters Dogfest will be receiving a half-price entry ticket to the Joke House. Perfect. Yeah. Again, this is all happening at Dog Fest. It's on September 27th. Uh, you can find more information at dogfest.org or bemorehumane.org. That is the uh, website for the Baltimore Humane Society. Money raised from this event will go to benefit the Humane Society or the Baltimore Humane Society. And that's how they continue to offer all the amazing programs they do. 
because of donations from everybody that comes to uh, take part in things like this. Wendy Goldban, what else is happening in the near future here for the Humane Society? Oh, you don't want to talk more about Dogfest? I've got, got plenty more. more. Are you, you got, kidding? If, you know what? If you got more, let's talk more about Dogfest. I know, I know Dogfest is a big <laughs> deal for you guys, and you put a lot of time and effort into it. So I want to hear more about we it. We want Hit everybody me. to know all the stuff, uh, so many of the things that they can do. Well, what else um, do you got? Well, there's lots of games and okay. activities for the dogs to do um, other than the swimming and the agility yard. There's um, 20 yard dash, okay. over, under, through, um, a treasure hunt. We've got a bubble chase, hide and seek with your owner, um, dog bowling. And um, also, if you think your dog is a Rembrandt, <laughs> we have paw painting. So your okay. dog will paint something and you get to bring that home and hang it on your refrigerator or maybe frame it for your living room. Who knows? Can I back you up to talk more about <laughs> dog bowling for a second? How exactly does that work? Um, well, <laughs> well, we'll find we, out set dog up, fest. we set up the 10 pins and the dog has to knock them down. Okay. Of course. All what right. else would you do with bowling? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll leave it at that. You can watch this whole thing go down at Dog Fest again happening September 27th. You can find some more information at dogfest.org. Wendy, I know you want to keep talking about Dog Fest. So what yeah. else is going on? Well, I don't want everybody I don't want anybody to ignore their kids. Okay. We have a very large kids section. So and, and kids in general will have a blast at this because there are dogs of every kind mm-hmm. you can ever imagine. Most of them are in costumes and it's just it's so much fun just to sit there, have a bite to eat and watch the dogs. But um, we do have a kids section and in the kids section we We've got a moon bounce. We've got face painters. We've got um, crafts so you can create a dog. We also have um, crafts where you can create enrichment toys for our shelter dogs, oh, okay. which is really nice because the kids then feel like they're helping out. Yeah. Um, we also have a couple of games. One is a beanbag toss. One is Pet Jeopardy, which will happen at noon. And <laughs> another is Pet Bingo, which is going to happen at about 1.30. And we've got prizes for everyone at those games. Well, I'd say that still, for me, I love the costume contest, yeah. and I really enjoy the uh, owner-pet lookalike as well, because I'm always amazed at how close some of these people really look to their pets. I know. It's it's a little... It's almost scary in a way. A little scary. In a good way, though. <laughs> we're, not, we're not frightening people away from Dogfest. Again, this is happening September 27th. More information can be found at dogfest.org, and the money raised from this event goes to benefit the Baltimore Humane Society, and that's how they keep offering the wonderful programs that they do because of events like this and the money that's donated from people like you. Uh, Wendy, anything else you want to throw out there about Dogfest? Well, we have tons of vendors that will be there, and many of them are also offering different kinds of activities. We'll have photo booths there. We've got um, Best of the Fest, uh, the winner of those photo contests go into the Baltimore Sun. We've got Ask the Vet, Ask the Trainer. Um, we've got tons of food vendors that will be there. So it's just it just goes on and on and on. A very big day. Again, it's happening September 27th. Dogfest.org is where you can go to find more information. Now, Wendy, I only have a couple more minutes left with you here. <laughs> Anything else you want to just throw out there before we wrap things up? About Dogfest, I think that's good. But we should talk about the fact that we are also going to have a wonderful event at Power Plant Live. Yes, let's talk about that. I think it's uh, October 12th, right? Um, yes, I believe so. Okay. And uh, it is at Power Plant Live. We are calling it a tailgate party. And that is Wait, happening. Like tailgate? Yeah, I tail, got it. T-A-I-L, I got it. wag, wag. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that will be from noon till game end. It's an away game that day. Okay. So it's going to be lots of fun, um, huge TV screens and yeah. all kinds of food and, and, and activities and things going on for that. And also you can bring your dog to that. Yeah. So if you want to go down, you don't have to worry about missing the game that day because they do have tons of gigantic screens down there at Power Plant Live. So I assure you they will have the game being broadcast again. Yes. It's Sunday, October 12th at Power Plant Live. Anything right. else really quick? Uh, well, just so the cat lovers know, we're not ignoring the cats. <laughs> we do have a wonderful fundraiser called Catsino Night. Okay. That will be happening Saturday, November 15th in the evening at Gray Rock Mansion. And you can go on our regular website, bemorehumane.org, to get tickets now if you'd like. And that's a night of faux gambling. Nice. Well, if you want to find any information out about the Baltimore Humane Society at all or about the events that are coming up, you can find that at bemorehumane.org. The big event that we were talking about today was Dog Fest. That's taking place on September 27th, and there's more information about that at the website dogfest.org. Wendy Goldband, Director of Marketing and Public Relations for the Baltimore Humane Society. One last chance to throw anything else out there. You got anything for me? We have wonderful animals. 
come and meet them and adopt them. We have one, Sophia, who was just in People magazine. Oh, right. I saw that. Right. She's also part of a national art project campaign where they did a watercolor of her. And she's also been a co-star in the uh, Baltimore Shakespeare Factory place. Oh, wow. She's a wonderful gem of a dog. So come and meet Sophia and all the other dogs and cats and rabbits. Wendy Goldben, thank you so much again for coming by and telling us more about what's going on at the Baltimore Humane Society. Can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you.